This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of The Pit Stop, where you, my friends, my sim racing buddies, you were all the real star today's show. Why? Because you're here to talk about sim racing with me. Why? Because you guys sent in half the stories that we cover on the news. So I just want to thank you all for being here and being part of the whole thing. I'm also going to post this show on the main channel. So if you are watching this and you are not watching it live, you're watching a recorded version, you're actually watching it maybe at the wrong place. You need to do a search on YouTube for Sim Pit Crew where all of our live shows, the pit stops, race streams by Dave Blair, race streams by Devin Booth, and race streams by me, and all the live pit stops are on the live channel, the Sim Pit Crew channel on YouTube. So be sure to search for that and uh, subscribe there as well. So we are here to talk sim racing and talk news, not promote our channel. So let's go ahead and get to that happy Thursday. Thursday is a race day for me. So I got to keep my energy high. I got to keep pumped up and positive to have a good showing tonight. And we'll talk about that at the end of the show. But uh oh what is what time is the patron reveal we're gonna cover that at the end of the show <laughs> so let's th start things off with forza and you know it's been a few days of forza because they're building up to their big big patch and so here at their twitter feed they have a link to the full track uh uh release notes i should say and they're calling they're patting themselves on the back saying it's one of the largest updates for forza motorsport 7 since the game launched and there is a whole variety of changes uh, if you want to look at the list, you can find that through the Twitter feed. Go to that cool-looking, that's the Aston Martin, uh, uh, what do you want to call that, an LMP, a prototype? I don't recall that class at that period of time. But that is that Aston Martin that is now in the game. So uh, you can get all the notes there, some general fixes, some multiplayer fixes, some car corrections, obviously the new car that we just talked about. Lots of things going on with the Forza camp, so check that out. Simultaneously, Formula One, you know, August 24th is the release date, so it is coming. And so they have more and more stuff. This one here um, is a video. Anyone recognize that character? You should. If you know me and you follow the show, you should know who that is by just looking at him. Maybe hearing his voice. That's David Greco. He is the senior car handling designer for Formula One, the game. I've met him on several occasions. Really nice guy. And the cool thing about it is... David Greco is one of the best sim racers on planet Earth. Um, so to have him as the senior car handling designer gives me a lot of hope for F1 2018. So I'm just going to tell you, I'm more and more pumped up for this game every day, and they continue their buildup of it. In addition to that, uh, there's a whole uh, coverage of that story, Game Hype. So this story is getting around. Lee Mather also retweeted that story as well. So... August 24th is the date. Oh, yeah, here's that story. Uh, write up about the dev diary that David Greco hosted. Greed is good. I love that movie. That's uh, Wall Street, right? Um, Greco. David Greco. Know that name. Know thy name. WRC here, the finalists from the, the last round. Once again, WED. Is it WED or WED Subi? I'm not super... Uh, TX3 Nexel. Look at that. Wed, John Armstrong. Those two, three have been pretty much on the leaderboard every time we look and check in on WRC7. This is their official eSport. This is the Hyundai eSport competition going on, and it's getting down to the end. I think the grand finale is in the Deutschland. So that was Poland, right? Finland. I'm sorry. That was Finland that we just finished. Uh, and it looks like we are moving on to the ground, grand finale uh coming up so stay tuned more from them coming out big news from race room so the fia wtcr is coming to race room in the next patch uh so more and more coming out of race room you know we are at such a great yeah uh, uh billy strange got to work with uh hand in hand with david greco over e3 three days of hanging out with uh david anyway uh Think about this incredible time that we're at. Put aside the whole eSport world. Look at how active and competitive the big sims are right now. Uh, you throw F1 2018 into the mix. We've, we're going to cover another story in a moment. 
race room is getting more and more active r factor 2 getting more and more active assetto corsa competizione on the way the biggest patch ever for forza motorsport 7 gt sport getting a ma massive uh, uh uh additions to that sim as well on every level of sim racing we are really seeing an explosion and we are really really lucky uh, that that we're a part of it i mean 10 years ago you had to wait years for something new. Uh, anyway, this is the new FIA WTCR coming to race room in the next patch. So you will all be able to drive that Cupra. Did I say that right? I'm not very familiar. That is obviously not an American car. I shouldn't say obviously like that. That is not an American model. <laughs> uh, Red Bull Games just getting pumped up about Competizione. So they have a, a video that they're retweeting four hours ago. I'm just mentioning it because... We are talking Red Bull games, so we are talking about a giant site getting very pumped up, and uh, I'm pumped up. Like I said, it's a great time to be a sim racer. Best time ever to be a sim racer. Bunch of little things going on at iRacing, so I'm just going to mention them. You know, we talked yesterday about Team Redline being pillaged, you know, and losing so many of their drivers uh, to this F1 2018. Uh, but Lando Norris not having any uh, real life racing to do at the time or downtime as he put it why not head into i racing and set a world record at silverstone uk in the porsche gte 139 725 don't know if i could beat it but uh i doubt it because if you're on red line you're not slow uh another little this just makes me laugh not because i racing posted it but i don't know if you guys remember like the the kimmy and the the racing lawn mowers I swear, it's pretty funny, you know, real race car drivers will drive anything. <laughs> if it has a wheel and a pedal and a gas pedal uh, and it moves, they're in. Anyway, here's Kanon and uh, Math Mathis Leist. I don't know that name. How do I not know Mathis Leist? For AJ Foyt. How do I not know him? Wow, sorry about that. Uh, we also talked about the whole iRacing uh, thing that they're going after the children. <laughs> that down this sounded really bad. They're doing all those development for kids to get them into sim racing, potentially on the path to real life racing. Kyle Larson, you know of him being a sim racer uh, turned real life racer. But as if Owen Larson wasn't cool enough already, here he is driving in that uh, iRacing kid zone. I'm not sure what track this went on at, but I thought that was kind of cool and worth seeing. Uh, Road to Damage, again, everyone keeps regurgitating that story. Um, but it is a cool video if you haven't seen it. If you know you want to know where iRacing is going and how they process and look at damage and damage models, what they're doing for the future, it's an incredibly cool video, especially for... Um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, especially for iRacing fans. Lice is Kanan's teammate this year. He was in Indy Lights last year. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, John. Um, ah, I don't know if you guys remembered, but a couple weeks ago, we spied this photo because it was actually a, uh, a job opening at Simbin Studios UK, and it was very unclear. Anyway, race department's going to go ahead and take a step forward and... Uh, basically speculate that this is officially gtr3 in the works which is very exciting we talk about that explosion forget esport the explosion of sim racing for all of us common folk uh gtr3 would be a great thing to have come back into our lives sim bin back into our lives uh it would really put us you know we even saw signs of life of from live for speed can you imagine if Live for Speed came back right now, how cool that would be? Um, I mentioned the other day Mercedes picking up the other drivers, finishing off their F1 2018 uh, draft. Anyway, Brendan Lay being added to the team. And I don't know if you noticed, but I showed that picture of Brendan. And this kid has dropped 22 kilograms since he ran the F1 2017 championship. So, uh, he's taking it seriously. Anyway, a little cool video out of Mercedes-AMG. 
uh, showing off the new team and their big pickups there. <clears throat> Rick Motek, look at this. How beautiful is this? This is at the headquarters at VIR, VIR Raceway. That looks like four APX 3000s, if I'm not mistaken, in a row. Looks like they got Thrustmaster equipment on them. Giant triple screens. Nice setups to have there uh, in their headquarters. And congratulations to Rick Motek for getting that 48 pounds. There you go. All right. Yesterday, we followed the story. We were on it, right? They weren't even... When we, we hit refresh during the show and we got the story, just so you know. We're on it. Uh, Team Redline, McLaren Shadow. I mean, you can. it's like a merger the way they did this. Big coup of coups, actually. Uh, when we speculate, is Redline hurt by this? I don't know. Maybe Redline is more intimately involved in this than we even know. But... A series of announcements by drivers. So here is the McLaren Shadow team. Bona Hui, Enzo, Bonito, and Ali Pakala. And there they are. And then they did a little cool thing. You want to get to know uh, Enzo Benito, you're going to find this at Project Shadow, McLaren Shadow, Twitter feed, I should say. <clears throat> Same thing, bio video from Bono Hui. You can hear from him. I'm looks like he's gotten a little more animated than he was at visa vegas then again at visa vegas he had just won a half a million dollars so maybe he was a little uh humbled by the concept of what was going on and i don't see where's ollie they're like ah everybody knows ollie <laughs> no they're probably doing something special ollie's such a character so we will expect one more uh of these videos from them as you can see there building up their team and and this is all growing 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 at a very fast rate i love it blow through some of these real quick worthplaying.com again thank you thaw man thaw man has been sending in so many stories and i got to appreciate if you guys knew how consistent and how awesome he was every day i get an email i mean he went on vacation once and said sorry i'm going to be away and for three days i didn't get an email and then he was right back and every day i get countless amount of stories of things that would definitely not fall into my radar but stuff that you guys are going to want to know about and i really appreciate everything he's done behind the scenes to make the pit stop in particular just an incredible show thank you thaw man and in october he's going to be scaling back and i will miss him tremendously so you'll hear his name and me thanking him many times between now and then as well but anyway worth playing talking about a game called distance and it's just sort of another one of these floater games. But look at these graphics. I mean, see, you can say what you want about the F-Zero type. I'll just call all of these hover racers F-Zero. But, you know, they have some cool graphics. Um, it's amazing. You know, we've demanded that our sim games go so hyper-realistic that I wonder what it would be to have a really good sim that wasn't trying to be realistic, was trying to be, you know, Toy Story size, like, you know, driving around and, and uh, change it up, but keep that physics and force feedback that we demand. Wouldn't that be awesome? <clears throat> um, <laughs> Spatially, she, she was a big girl. I remember that as well. Defunct. Another uh, one of these. This one here is a gravity racer. Another F-Zero type. Um, so if you're looking just for entertainment, I've been on the search for some mindless games, fun games, distraction games. These would be perfect fit. Uh, one that intrigues me, and I haven't pulled the, the, uh, the trigger on it just yet, but Motorsport Manager Mobile 3. Team VVV, uh, we were talking about Alan earlier in the in the patron Discord chat. Uh, but as a write-up on Motorsport Manager 3, this is a game I'm really considering. 399 euro. Uh, I, I, I'm really considering this just as the next game on my phone. I, I'm going to have to probably read this review and put some faith in uh, Alan's opinion, I guess. <laughs> PC Gamer. Now, this could have ended. So it said for a day or two, it was posted a day ago. Save 15% off most eBay purchases today only. I believe this is on Newegg's eBay store, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, is that right? Uh, I could be wrong about that. 
Unfortunately, no, take that back. Take that. It's just a, a it's a discount code on eBay. So they're getting, giving examples in the gaming world. But Pronto 15. So if you're looking for something, Pronto 15 on eBay might get you 15. Might. It might get you a discount. <laughs> um... Did you beat Plague Devon? Oh, it's so funny you say that. I have played the first five, and I got to the nanovirus, and I just couldn't even... I can't even get past any part of the nanovirus. Uh, but I have played Plague no, a lot. <coughs> PC Gamer, another story here. This Ryzen desktop with the Radeon RX 570 graphics card on sale for 550 I'm not a computer tech. I don't know if that's a great deal, bad deal. Uh, but, wow, it looks like that thing's water-cooled on the main chip. That's pretty impressive for a uh, $550. Is that true? I mean, that's what I see in the picture right there. I'm no computer geek, but that sure does look like a water cooler. Um, or can you not even buy a system without a water cooler now? Uh, anyway, AMD's 12-core 1920X got an insane price cut down to $249. I was unaware of such a thing. And boom, inventory ran out within hours. So I guess if you're trying to clear the uh, shelves for your newest, latest, greatest, you want to get rid of the old, that's how you do it. <laughs> this blew my mind. Never even heard of these guys. And now I know why. PC Gamer has a story here magic leaps ar augmented reality headset is finally available to buy see how it has clear lenses augmented reality is a combination of what you see physically and things overlaying into that but it cost twenty three hundred dollars that's insane but look at those snazzy glasses i wish that's what a vr unit looked like uh wouldn't that be cool oh it's already expired Pronto 15. Sorry about that. I, I told, I warned you, Michael Jeffries. I had to tell you, but I'm warning you. <laughs> at, I warned you at the same time, but thank you for verifying that deal is no good. No good. No good. Stand down on the Pronto 15. Uh, this one I am intrigued by just in the name. I, I, I didn't even read, but I was speculating what could it mean. Distance. A car parkour survival racing game to release on steam in september parkour does that mean i do like front flips back flips off the walls and things uh but this is coming out soon oh that's the game we talked about earlier we don't even get to, no that is distance that's the one we showed earlier so this has some parkour-esque quality was that parkour because we caught some air oh whoa because we changed forms anyway could be entertaining who knows all right i know i know that i'm always telling you guys to go after these esport tournaments and i know that even for some of the exceptional ones of us that's a far far goal uh so i mean they're incredible how good some sim racers are and so even though i only try to cover sim racing things skills launches a, a hundred thousand dollar esport tournament and i swear all of you can win this one it is the leading eSport platform powers world's largest solitaire competition. $10,000 going to the winner. I know a few of you play solitaire. I know a few of you think solitaire is badass and fun and you play it for decades. Uh, myself included on that list, by the way. You can win 10 grand playing solitaire through this skills eSport competition. Anyone can do that. Uh, check out Racecraft on Steam as well. Would like to hear your thoughts. What What is that? I might have missed what we were talking about. LSD is cheaper than Magic Leap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure we can advocate that here. But I, I hear your point. <laughs> uh, all right. And clarify Racecraft on Steam. Oh, a game. Racecraft on Steam. Duh. Sorry about that. Let me uh, see if I can pull that off. Oh. Alright. This is what we're talking about. 
Is this good? Is this worth playing? You know, after the endurance race, I'm going to be looking for a new recent reviews. Very negative. <laughs> uh, very negative. I usually try to stay away from games with very negative uh, opinions. There you go. All right. Descenders. You know I love this one because it's a mountain bike game. Downhill game. Anyway, they've added a volcanic new world so descenders latest update added a new world fans of the game preview i read these so wrong fans of the game preview title likely already completed the first four worlds oh fans of the game preview title likely already completed the first four worlds highlands forest canyon and peaks and are looking for the next big thing the fifth world is called volcano and it's supposed to be a lot more challenging. So I don't know if any of you guys uh, have done that or not. Have any of you played that game, Descenders? I have not. That game was weak. Which one was weak, the Descenders or the uh, Racecraft? VR is coming to Racecraft, free to play. Well, you got like free to play. You can't even complain about free to play, can you? Um. Yeah, look at that. Free to play. All right, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do it on my proper Steam. We'll give that. The car's coming. The car is still coming. No news. All right, I know this isn't sim racing, but I just thought this was super cool. Thank you, Dawman, Man, because this brought a smile to my face. Um... Any of you are who are my age remember distinctly, I mean, not to the day, but you remember the day Pac-Man came out. Pac-Man was one of those uh, games, Descenders is ho so hard. Oh, that's good to hear. In a good way or a bad way, Jesse? Uh, Pac-Man. There is a quarter scale, so what would that make? This cabinet style. So quarter scale would make that thing, I don't know, how tall are they? Five feet? So two and a half, that's gonna be one and a quarter. It's gonna be like this big, official and playable Pac-Man. It's mini Pac-Man, quarter scale, cabinet style, arcade. Awesome, I want it. How much is it? I didn't even check. They're gonna only make 10,000 of them. It's a collector edition. Uh, I don't see a price. If you have to ask. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I thought that was cool. I just wanted to let you guys know. All right, I'm showing you this because it's a cool-looking simulator. I like that wraparound projection. That is awesome. Here is my question. I do not know what driver in the loop simulator means. Um, I hear this thrown around all the time, and I just have to confess. I can Google it. I'm Before I Google it, I'm giving you guys an opportunity to educate me. Uh, what does driver in the loop mean? But anyway, this is a very cool uh, article at ARS Technica talking about uh, the this isn't a game. We try out a professional driver in the loop simulator. Multimatic is the company has built one of the best sims in the business and we got to try it. So if you want to hear their experience with an incredible uh, look, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's insane. Is this like two motions is this a giant slip angle and then a secondary motion i can't even figure this sucker out it's so awesome gotta check this out this is a ars technica you god this is very elaborate um is driver in the loop having a crew chief behind a glass wall i do this as driver coaching at CXE. Um, anyway, there you go. I uh, thought that was awesome. That's an ARS Technica article name. This isn't a game. We try out a professional driver in the loop simulator. Uh, giant slip deal. Uh, probably driving a wraparound screen. Is that what it means? I'm going to have to Google it at the end. Really immersive, yes. 
giant slip deal. Yes, I agree. Coolest rig. One of the coolest rigs I've ever seen, I have to admit. I do have to admit that. Uh, Dakar looks a little wonky. I, I'm kind of agreed, Billy. I've seen their videos, and it's like, eh. They look like there's to be desired. All right, I just reviewed, and I'm going to... That's the next thing I actually mentioned is the next level motion platform three. Uh, this was sent in as just another sort of DIY kit. I've driven the, the SimCraft rigs, and they're elaborate rigs. And I mean, even if you hear my thoughts on full motion versus a seat mover, you'll, you'll probably be able to. But they're looking at $49.97, five grand for 12. Uh, 20 degrees of roll, 15 degrees of pitch in a DIY configuration. Uh, you can see that's a play seat sitting on top of a platform. So you could put anything on that, essentially, and and move it. So uh, anyway, just another option I thought you guys I'd let you guys know about. And that comes to you from SimCraft. They've been doing it as long as I've been doing anything. And here is my video yesterday. So we are right now, we are watching on the Simpit Crew channel where all live shows are done. But what we're looking at here is the old, original Simpit channel on YouTube, 35,000 subscribers. Yesterday, we released the Next Level Racing Motion Platform V3 review. I'm going to tell you guys, this is only the second live filmed review I've ever done. No script, just a few bullet point notes that I wanted to, to remember and just doing the whole thing off the top of my head and, and trying to keep it flowing and and authentic in that way so uh anyway you got to check that out i'm real happy with the review i'm happy with the way the live filming is going and as somebody pointed out in that one it's like sean do you dye your beard because there's two sean's in that there's gray beard sean and brown beard sean uh i thought that was a pretty funny comment and observation of the video and in all uh fairness and 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 being forthcoming yes i dyed the gray out of my beer we've talked about that but i'm not ashamed of anything i'll tell you guys anything uh anyway pretty much going to do it for today's show tonight at 6 p.m we have the audi tt cup nurberg gp sprint on a seto corsa running sim racing systems really looking forward to this race tonight this car is fun but better than the the car this makes out for a really good close racing uh uh series and that's what i'm hoping for a lot of door-to-door -door action thank you for your opinion t-bone thank you guys thank you spatial um i i it was almost it wasn't quite that easy i filmed it in front of the patron group and uh it wasn't that easy uh all patrons have access to that video still um i've re dyed it i have to dye this thing every week i would do a red beard that'd be funny i was actually thinking for the the endurance race i dye this orange maybe a blue stripe no maybe it's blue and an orange stripe that would be awesome uh i would totally do that <laughs> um so anyway watch older videos the other not butt kissing but you look younger now thank you jesse i'm sure that the dyeing the beard helps that as well uh what else do we have okay you know I rarely plug our patron program, but, you know, we, we have a great group of people. Everyone hangs out and chats. We, we spontaneously just do fun things and race. Uh, we help each other out. And they're also privy to some behind the scenes. Like I said, this was filmed live with those guys. They're all there live while I was filming this review. Uh, while I was filming this review. And so today... In, a, in an hour from right now, one hour from right now, I'm going to fire up the live cameras and I'm going to start one of my next projects for the show, which is in this mystery box. And all I'm going to tell you about that box is if I could plug it in, it would vibrate. And it's not a butt kicker. So there you go. I'm going to film the unboxing and the installation and at least the first drive uh with this and it's going to be with the patron group all that will be filmed and used in the full review as you saw in the next level racing motion platform so that is one of the big perks of being part of the patron program getting in there and being live being part of the team we have our endurance team that we're going to be doing our first race in 
a week and a half. Very excited about that. So lots of good things going on there. And like I said, one hour from now, we'll be filming that. You guys will get to see what's in that box soon enough when we get the review all ready for you out there in the live public. Anyway, that's the way it's going to be. Hope you enjoy that format. And uh, again, if you're watching this on the Simpit main channel, you got to head over to the Simpit crew channel and subscribe over there so that you'll get notifications of all of the good live stuff that we do do. That we do do. That's going to do it for today. Get out there, do some racing, have some fun. Be back tonight at 6 with that Audi TT Cup. This is the Simpit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.